Obviously, you don't need two windscreen wipers, just the one. And you put the washer in the wiper blade itself, because why would you not do that? <laughs> it's different. It's interesting. Then there's the door mirrors. So good and so futuristic looking that they were used on the Aston Martin Vantage, the Venturi Atlantique, the Renault Sport Spider, the Lotus Esprit, the Jaguar XJ220, and most TVRs. On the one hand, this steering wheel is typically French. It's weird. It's got one spoke, and it's sort of deep dish, and a flat bottom. On the other hand, it's brilliant. It's the perfect size, perfect thickness, perfect diameter, and I can see the dials because there isn't a spoke in the way. I mean, in many ways, the weirdness makes them more likeable. What we see as bloody-mindedness is actually innovation, because the French have been pioneers in motoring. It wasn't going to be us. We were making the Morris Marina. And don't think it's just the cars that are odd. Some of their rules of the road are quite strange as well. For example, the French believed, unlike everyone else, that white headlights were wrong and that they should be yellow. And if you like driving along to music, there's a rule which says that 35% of pop songs played on French radio must be French. Is that how it's supposed to be, or has Morso de Pano Chocolat tombayed into my stereo again? <laughs> There you go, that was from the country that gave you Debussy and Messiaen. One of my favourite French things is their slovenly attitude to road signs. I mean, take this one as an example. You see this kind of thing all over France. What it says is that the town hall is that way and everything else, two directions, everything else is over there. India, Paris, Kamchatka Peninsula, whatever it is you want, just there, go away.